Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we we'll never have to do this. Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we are here still at the Everglades, as I said before. We're going to be doing a lot of bass fishing at the different pegs here, just to see how well we can do. And this is not just largemouth bass. We're going to be going after the peacock bass as well, and anything else that might happen to bite. So we're going to see what's going on over here at the Floating Thickets. Now, before we were doing Lily Pad Channel... The floating thickets though, however, even though you can catch bass, this is also peacock bass central. So we're going to head in here and we're going to see how well we can do with what we have bait wise. Let's see, let me go ahead and pick a private room. We're going to go on jump in. Now you can do float fishing here and you can catch a lot of different species. The Everglades is filled with a mess of species. But in this particular one, we are focusing on the bass. So it is almost at the end of the peak period. So one of the things we're going to try first is the old half ounce silver casting spoon. It is a semi or partly cloudy, semi cloudy day, however you want to call it. Now, if you cast over here in this area, you are going to get the largemouth bass more often. But if you cast in here and over in here, you're going to get the peacocks. So we're going to see if we got these guys active at the moment. The thing that's nice about peacock bass is that if it's not a peak period, they bite really well. No matter what period it is, which is great. The largemouth tend to focus more on the peak periods. So... If you're interested in keeping your cash flow coming in, I would suggest to focus on the peacock bass in between the peak periods. Now this is not one of their favorite lures, but since it's one of the first ones you get, I figured I'd go ahead and give it an old try here. Not my favorite lure to use for this area but like I said gotta get everything a try now let's see if we can get a peacock bass interested here now there are certain lures there we go that they will go for every time guys and I will show you those. Obviously the trophy frog is my favorite. It's my favorite from Fishing Planet Classic for this area and it's my favorite in this one as well. Now this is the elemental I'm using so this is going to pretty much push in this gear to its limits so you're going to have a fight on your hands here. But I think I got a peacock here. Looks like it. Yep. You see that bright green, you know you got a peacock. They're always that bright green like that. And while the bass are a little more, you know, a little bit duller green or more olive gray or something like that. Yeah. Now, my understanding is they're not really bass at all. They're actually part of the cichlid family and they're actually not even... They're an invasive species. They're not even a species that normally belongs in the in the um, Everglades or Florida at all. We brought them here. <laughs> I don't remember if people did it for the purpose of fishing for them or if they brought them because, kind of like the goldfish, they just kind of dumped them in there. So I don't know.
trying to see if I can get just a regular largemouth, but we may end up going over to our trophy popper just to get a little more attention because the peak period is coming to an end here. It's already 808. It's on the downslide. So here we go. Now this will probably be a large mouth. Let me put a little more tension on that. He is. Can I put it all the way up, or is he gonna fight it? Nope, he's gonna. He's not quite that strong. It's pushing it. You hear that? <laughs> that line going ding 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 as <laughs> it's straining. Let's see here. Come on, fish. Jeez. You are not giving up the ghost there, my friend. Ah, that's another peacock. Well, let's get the popper out and see if we can't get a bass before our peak period ends here. There we go. Right back over here, and if we don't get one over there, we can try it another place that's really good on this side. But yeah, we've got it set right. And if it gets too far in, I think that's what the problem is. It gets past where the largemouth are, and the peacocks, they, I swear to God, they are just ravenous sometimes. Especially in about the mid afternoons. I've sat there and just kind of drug my line. Whoa! Uh oh, okay, it's all right. Thought I had it a little bit too high there. Nope. He just hit it very, very hard. I think I might take it down just a notch because if I don't and I get hit by a trophy or unique, it's going to break that line. And it will really aggravate the crap out of me if they break my line. Because that's my trophy po frog popper and I don't want to lose it. Yeah, I think this is a regular bass here, guys. Or is it a bowfin? Is it a bowfin? I'll be damned. Well, that was a bit unexpected. There you go, guys. Got a bowfin. Those poppers, I swear to God, just about everything goes for them. Let's try over here. Now, over here, you can also get the largemouth bass if you cast it over in this area here. Now, I don't, now when we were over the lily pad channel, that's where I was casting it and getting a lot of the largemouth bass before. We're just on the other side of it. So that's where you want to cast it. And that was a good cast. <laughs> Should have some more largemouth bass activity over there, but we are pushing the heck out of not having any more bass here really biting much. I mean they will bite in the nighttime, it's just that we have to kinda there we go. Reorient our lures again. Whew, man, he is he's a tough old bird, isn't he? Right, we'll turn the tension up just a little bit. This guy might be a trophy, guys. I tell you, he's he's putting up a fight. I 
Okay, he's laxing up a little bit there. He just, he does not want to come. That's why I'm thinking it's a large mouth. He is all over that, that <laughs> he's all over these things. I'll be damned, he took it back over 100 again, guys. Holy crap, what is this fish? Damn. Could I have gotten a really big bowfin or something? No, no, they don't flip out of the water like that. Alright, let's get him in here. I think he's finally getting tired. He might give one more push, but... Yep, that's what he's doing. One more push. had them do this and go slack on me before and get right off the hook. He is really not going to come here. God, let's get in here. Alright, he's coming now. Well, maybe. Damn. Not been able to get him any closer than 60 or 40. And then he goes right back out to 60 again. There we go. Now we got him. We got him. Oh, oh my goodness. No wonder he was such a fight. Holy crap, guys. Check him out. Unique largemouth bass, 10 gold. That's why you want to get these guys. 10 gold. No wonder he was such a fight. Jeez. Look at that fella. <laughs> I love it. There we go. That was well worth it. Let's see if we can get a good picture of this guy. So you can move this over here. Nice fish, guys. That was a nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, we are definitely keeping him. Ten gold. Ten gold. I was not expecting that. Got that with that old trophy frog popper, I'll tell you, man. That thing is going to kick butt every time. I thought, my God. This is the fightingest trophy one I've had in a long time. <laughs> I just didn't expect to be getting one while I was recording. Usually it happens when I'm just grinding for cash, you know, that kind of thing. Now we're going to see if we can get something over here. Then we're going to probably... I might try a little bit of night fishing. I don't know that we're going to get much bass-wise, but we might peacock. But yeah, we are definitely coming out of the peak now. That was that was a thrill. That's actually the first unique that I've caught over here. I've caught 
a bunch of uniques, but I've always caught them over there in the Lilypad channel, which really thrills me, honest to God. See if we can get a peacock over here. Yeah, I've caught unique peacocks in this area here, but most often I get them from the other side, the next peg over. But I am going to give it a shot. Heck, I'm on a roll tonight, <laughs> apparently. There we go. It's just a regular fish. Yeah, after getting that, you're kind of like, eh, eh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it might be another largemouth here. It didn't look too great. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to catch them right up to the very end here. I'm going to see if I can see what I got over here. A lot of activity, that's all I know. Anytime you see a lot of activity like that, that's those bait fish jumping around. They're trying to escape something. Yeah, something else was unusual. I had it at two notches. Usually I do it three. I didn't mean to have it at two notches and got that unique like that. love this popper. This popper is just the best thing on the planet. But we are at the end of our peak here. So I think we're going to end up having to switch over to something else as it gets darker. Let's see what we got here. Have we got anything we can fish for or fish with at night? Because I don't really know if we do. I don't think we've gotten that far in the yeah, it's not looking like we've got anything we can really use for night fishing here. A little schedule. So, we're still here. It's going to be a sunny day. We're going to want to go to the peak period of about 1 p.m. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go to 1 p.m., guys. Well, let's first go to the next morning. That's quite a bit of cash. Alright, now I wanted to come here and try some new other lures here. This crankbait is one of them that I wanted to really give a shot. Oh, too heavy. Uh, Let's see, is it too heavy for this one? It shouldn't be. No, not that one. What am I talking about? It's going to be a little too light, but that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see if this crankbait attracts anybody's attention. Let's take the speed down. This is a six foot. Now I would prefer to have a three foot, but it doesn't really matter. We got a bite right off the bat. I think we got a cigar. Yep, we sure do. There you go. Le Flor de Gar. It's all good. I'm glad we were holding it out this way. I always like to get a good pose of a fish I haven't caught yet in a certain level. Now he's about average size. 
We'll get a picture of him. He's pretty. Pretty ugly. <laughs> Alright, we're going to keep him. Yeah, they like the crankbaits a lot. So you might get them from time to time. But see, I can't cast nearly as far as I normally do. I am kind of curious if the jerk bait will attract them. But you're going to see a lot of the gar over on this side. And I'll show you the other location that you'll see a lot of them. They're pretty ravenous. Most of the time I get them though later at night. If I'm going to get them. And I usually get them float fishing more so than lure fishing. Yeah, the other location I get them at is right over here. Right along here. They like to sit around there and just wait for something. On Fishing Planet, that's where I would catch my uniques, is right over there. And we're going to see if they go for anything here. Like I said, three foot is what I prefer for this crankbait, but I don't think I can get it yet. I'm kind of surprised the peacocks aren't going for it. I'm going to risk a snag here. Yep. I knew I'd get one. And I got something more than I bargained for. Alright. Try that again. for that as much right now. I'm um, here. This medium spoon may be the trick for getting these guys right now. Oop. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep, that's what I needed to change it to. There you go. Butterfly Peacock. Trail over my unique Butterfly Peacock area. Now, if I caught a unique Butterfly Peacock in this session, I would be really freaked out. <laughs> we do have something here of substantial size. up there yeah we can just a little bit I am pushing the envelope here guys <laughs> I don't think we got us a unique but we got a fairly good sized peacock I think come on damn he is not wanting to give up the ghost people Yep. Now he's not a trophy, but he's fairly hefty for a regular common size. Uh, 
Okay, let's see if we can get anything over here. It's a peacock. I betcha, I betcha. Let's see here. Come here, fella. I'm not messing with you. I don't want to mess with you right now. I just don't feel like it. There we go. Get in here. There you go, guys. Well, there you go, guys. I tell you, it is. You got to have the gear though, it's like I said, you know, you only get so much available to you in the early levels, and I haven't got any of the uh, smaller spinners with me, so without that, I would, I mean, if I had that, these guys would be knocking it off pretty, pretty good. But, still doing very, very well. And it's nothing to sit here. Oh. And get 20,000, even 30,000 cash per day. guys or something they are like I said are ravenous so you will get them there you go another decent size one well anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I will be back with another episode of the fisherman fishing planet so until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.